everybody's heard of Just Stop Oil. At this point, they've made a name for themselves as pretty much the most annoying and insufferable protesters on the entire planet. No, you are and the thing is, they're pretty much global. They're worldwide. You'll see them in London. You'll see them in Germany. You'll see them outside your grandmother's house. The best possible way I could describe them is like a housefly. They're literally everywhere, but nobody actually wants you there and everybody just wants you to go away. Okay, so quick explanation of who they are, just in case you didn't know. They're this really stupid activist group who thinks the entire world can be saved by just stopping oil, conveniently ignoring the fact that the entire world literally runs on oil and if you actually wanted to stop oil it would probably take decades of planning from several governments across several countries to phase out of using oil slowly, okay? In a way that doesn't disrupt life for everybody. Now, the only supporters they actually have are people who are genuinely, the only way I could describe them is clinically insane. Basically, this is their philosophy, right? They believe the world is ending tomorrow, meaning that we're allowed to do anything, okay? Basically, if a meteorite was about to strike the earth tomorrow, then you wouldn't really care of what's happening, right? So that's how they justify everything they do, like throwing food at paintings, wasting a bunch of food, disrupting shows and events, literally ruining the lives of many people, preventing babies from reaching the hospital. They actually did that the last time we talked about them. <laughs> You know, because who actually cares about a single baby, guys? I'm out here being Superman. I'm out here saving the entire world from this oil crisis we seem to be having. And actually, you're the evil one because while you're thinking of one uh, poor baby who can't reach the hospital, I'm actually thinking of the entire world as a collective. So that's like their whole logic and how they justify all of their actions. Okay, so today we're gonna be flipping the script and looking at some clips of people who were just fed up of these jackasses blocking roads and they do a variety of things like throwing water on them, running them over, and just doing things that we all dreamed about, like taking them by the hand, dragging them off the roads, and throwing them elsewhere. Now, disclaimer for YouTube, absolutely nobody was harmed in any of these videos at all. Don't worry guys, they didn't actually run over his leg or anything, although nobody would be complaining. Despite the fact of him literally acting like that one fish from SpongeBob. My leg! Yeah, it turns out it's quite shocking, but a new revelation has come out and it, it, it's concluded that humans are actually a bad way of stopping moving cars, guys. I, I didn't actually know this. I love how these people literally stand in the way of the cars and then are just so shocked when they actually get bumped or hit. It's almost like people don't want to stop for actual jobless people who have no uh, significance in our universe at all. Like if you were removed from the universe, absolutely nobody would notice, okay? It's so clear that you've been completely, completely and utterly disowned by your family members, which is why you're out on the road doing this type of shit. Fact of the matter is people have places to go like work, you know, ever heard of that? Ever heard of a job application? It's just so cringe because you never actually mess with a man's income and that's effectively what you're doing by blocking all these cars who are likely 90% of them probably just going to work, especially in the morning. Okay, now in this next clip, this woman is literally riding the car. The car is nudging her, trying to get her to leave before it starts speeding, but she kind of refuses to do so, which just shows me these people have no concern for their lives at all. I'm sorry. No, no, not illegal. You are too You know what I think when I hear cars vigorously honking continuously, super loudly? I think that people actually like me. I think I'm actually doing something good for the world, you know? Because common man and woman are so pleased at my activities. You know, this woman's probably gonna go home thinking that she got catcalled or something. She might be thinking, hey, 
they're hon honking at me. I must be really attractive, you know? Now, by far, my favorite clips of all of these protests are when people actually start getting out of their cars, you know? It's only so long before you can poke the bear and the bear doesn't strike back, okay? And when they actually start taking action, it gets so entertaining. Guys, let's get back. You know it's going down when the dude with the board is coming after you, okay? They're like the most chill of them all and you've angered them. Also for anyone uh, asking, I think the liquid the guy threw on the protesters is just water. They're not trying to hurt them or anything. They're just trying to make them move out of the way. Although I wouldn't blame them if they use something else at this point. I mean, especially for cases where you're like blocking toddlers from receiving medical treatment. Now, probably what baffles me the most is how there's old people doing this as well. Like you'd think it would be like like the younger brainwashed generation or something, you know, brainwashed into thinking they're doing something good for humanity when they're just disrupting the general public. But when the old people come in, that's when I really start to lose faith because that means the programming is working way too well, you know? <laughs> I, I, I think that sums up like the competence level of all these protesters. Like pretty much the, the girl running away from the killer in a horror movie type where you just trip. That's the type of people who are trying to save the planet, okay? Even if, even if like they were in the right, we'd be so screwed, okay? Now, I think by far what pisses people off the most is that none of it actually makes any sense, right? Now, if they were blocking, you know, cars from oil tycoons or, you know, billionaires or stuff like that, you would somewhat understand it. You're like, okay, these are the people who are causing the problem. But here they are blocking public transport buses, which are good for the environment. You know, like they stop a bunch of cars being on the road. <laughs> Ah, yes, let me target the average person who takes public transport. Let me target the people in the bus, you know, who are actually being somewhat environmentally friendly because, you know, how many people are in like one goddamn bus? There's tons of people there. If each one of those individuals had their individual car that they're taking to work, obviously it would cause lots of more traffic, lots of more pollution. In that sense, buses are somewhat good for the environment. So what are you doing here? A person who takes the bus on average is not the wealthiest person on the planet, okay? Obviously there's wealthy people who take the bus as well. Uh, if it's more convenient in certain parts of the world. But in general, they, a wealthy person would have their own car, their own security or something like that. I, I just don't understand this level of targeting. Like, why are you pissing off the people who you want to be supporting your cause? Now, by far my favorite method of getting these protesters off the road, other than, you know, spraying them with water or nudging them with cars, is the two-man method. Let me, uh, let me show you. Oh my God, look at that actual NPC. Like you cannot tell me <laughs> these aren't robots. These aren't programmed like robots AI to stop these people from reaching their destination because the two people pull him off the road and then like nothing happened. He gets back up, goes to his spot like a video game NPC. It, I'm not even making this up. That's exactly what happened. It's like when you try to break his programming even a little bit by forcibly removing him like a video game character, he returns back into position to just be this mindless, mindless zombie. There's no way anyone, anyone can be this stupid. It just doesn't like add up to me. Do they not 
have any free will, any free thought at all. Who is scaring these people so much to the point where they, they feel the need to do this? It's, it's so ridiculous to me. Unfortunately, the people that are dragging them off the road don't even understand that this is a Sisyphus task, okay? They are stuck in this loop for all of eternity. Unless you remove their, you actually like reach into their buttocks and remove their batteries, they're not gonna leave the spot. And like, I thought it was just a group of like five to 10 people, you know? And that's when I was like, okay, th this, this is uh, fine. You know, there can be a couple crazies, but they're everywhere, man. <laughs> There's at least thousands and thousands of people in this movement and they're clearly getting tons of press. I mean, horribly bad press. And this is probably working out better for the oil companies, not gonna lie. But let's not forget how utterly crazy these people are. These are the people who glued their hands to the cement to the point where they needed literal medical professionals to remove their hands from the ground. And it was ridiculously painful. Like this is the type of shit you'd see in Tom and Jerry. The cop rips their glued hands off the road. Oh. Ah. Why? You, you cemented yourself to the pavement. Like, what the fuck? Okay, now in this next clip, I think they really need a physics lesson, okay? Can one or two men, full grown men or women, can they stop? a 4,000 pound moving car. Ever, yeah, let me let me calculate this New, Newton's law of well, Einstein's every action is equal. No. Wow, 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 ah, uh, what a shocker. I, it turns out <laughs> I can't stop a 4,000 pound car, guys. This is the most shocking thing ever. Everybody just skipped the physics class, apparently. You know, there's a certain point you reach in life where you start reevaluating your decisions. You start thinking of, hey, you know, when I'm spending my time on the day to day, is it actually benefiting humanity? Is it actually making me happy? Is it actually a productive use of my time? These people have never once asked that question, ever. I don't know if they're gonna grow up in 10 years or something, look back at this and be like, well, I guess the universe didn't explode, holy shit. I genuinely, genuinely and sincerely hope an actual study comes out after this and the levels of pollution are actually recorded on these days and the days after. And it will be shown that the levels of pollution on these days were exponentially higher because of the amount of goddamn cars you, you, you stranded on the road for hours and hours and hours who clearly didn't turn off their engine or anything like that. We were constantly just sitting idle, polluting the air constantly. It is so incredibly frustrating that they can't think beyond the surface level. It's like, it's just one step. It's like the world's going to end. So I got to do all this shit. Like, did, where's the plan? Do you have like a list of, of steps to follow? Have you presented these steps to uh, major oil companies or something? Or or do you want to talk to Joe and the public bus down the street and say, you, use paper straws, dipshit? Now to give you guys an extent of how many people actually hate this activist group, this clip is 110 million views on YouTube shorts. Climate protester run over by lorry in Germany. Dude, poor dude is trying to drag three people. NPC programming returning back there. Dude is like threatening to look, look at the fucking pussy, dude. Oh boy, you better move at this point. Jesus, oh my. Idiot, idiot. I don't understand. You have one body and one life and you don't value it at all. Aren't you scared your leg is gonna get run over and you're never gonna be able to walk again? Oh, it doesn't matter because the world's ending tomorrow. These people are actually psycho. You know, I'ma just give a fun fact. Even if the world was ending tomorrow, you probably wanna spend your last day with a leg, okay? And not in agonizing pain in the goddamn ER, okay? Well, huh, duh, duh. I wouldn't be in the ER because I don't believe in electricity. <laughs> now, while some of the clips were pretty old, maybe years old, months old, they're still doing this. It's like actively every day there's a new thing that there's so much stuff that you can't report. This was two days ago where they interrupted like a musical in London. Pulled to the theater at interval. It's alleged four individuals launched themselves Such on a stage goofy and skull. waved banners during a song about revolution. They fixed themselves to the stage with bike locks. 
before the venue was evacuated. What I don't understand is that the amount of arrests being taken place, like it doesn't disrupt them at all. It's like they're multiplying like like plankton in the sea. <laughs> I don't know where these people are coming from. They're cl crawling out of the gates of hell. Eco activist hit by camera during Sweden's Let's Dance finale. So they try to get on stage over here. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. I I hope I hope with the from the bottom of my heart that that was intentional. That is the most hilarious. I gotta watch that back, bro. He just comes out of nowhere. Boom! <laughs> That was like a deadly deadly E move, dude. <laughs> From the top ropes. Ain't no way. Demolished. Unbelievable. Wait, they got an action replay? I watched that three times. I don't care. <laughs> that was a bulky ass camera as well. Was that a Canon 99000? Hospital bound driver mounts pavement to avoid just stop oil protests. Yeah, I don't believe that's the case. Okay, so somebody says they have a medical emergency. Dude's just like, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Well, medical emergencies, they don't actually exist, especially. We have a world emergency right now. Moron. Wait, weasel! <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Look at the cop! Like You're a joke! The cops better not be on the activist side here, man. I mean, they seem pretty chill there, but Jesus Christ, like, uh, you, you think you have compassion or something, but you're completely heartless. Insolent Britain protesters sprayed with ink as they block roads into London. So this was a year ago, but I haven't seen this clip, so. Like, uh, the old ones, dude. Did they convince their grandpa to come or something? Hey, grandpa, the world's ending. We need to go sit on some roads. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been one hell of an argument, just like one oh, yeah. a hell of a thing to explain. Yes, I'm Mark Coleman from Rochdale, and I've come all the way down here because there is nothing more important than insulating people's homes and making a start on cutting the emissions. It's simple, there's been plans to do this for years. It wasn't painful, it didn't hurt, it, 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 it was unpleasant, but um, just sad, you know, the whole thing's sad. You know, the, it's sad that we have to do this. I hate doing it. Albert Einstein's aborted cousin. I'm a, I'm a retired doctor. I've spent my life trying to help people, and I'm reduced to having to do this because the government will won't address the problem adequately, basically. Brother, you got five years left. What do you care? Jesus Christ! Police ram straight through climate activist blockade in Nevada. Okay. I remember this went really viral. I never saw this one though. Yeah, just a straight. What a what a pathetic block. <laughs> Oh. We're blocking the road towards the Burning Man festival causing a traffic jam. Oh, yeah, that was like yeah. cringe shit, right? I don't know. This is just about as effective as their plans are. Imagine getting arrested over this. Imagine ruining your life over this. Dude. Unbelievable. These people are gonna have kids, by the way. Screaming. She was just standing here. What the? Well, you're blocking the road. <laughs> Arrest them all, hopefully. Dude, there's like millions of these furious motorists <laughs> headlocks. Just stop oil protesters. Now these are the true saviors of humanity. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> just, dude, two in one. Ain't no way, bro. Bro's multitasking right now. Bunch of oldies and baldies right here, dude. Come on. Threaten to prank a protester's guitar. What is that here? Is that a mohawk? What? I wonder. I wonder how where the dye came from, huh? Very interesting. You know, you just know the types of people who are on, on in these protests. Like, come on, look at this, dude. 
No functioning member of society will be on the streets like this. They're all useless. This is granddad and his son there. Son being corrupted as well. Ridiculous. Now it turns out there's actually a Just Stop Oil channel as well. So people are just really confused of whether to like or dislike the video. I don't know if they're trying to showcase the cause, but all of their most popular clips are Just Stop Oil protesters just being manhandled. You know, all those clips we were looking at. I don't know if this is some sort of parody channel or they actually think that this is good press. We got the running goat here, the old rammer. God damn the two and one baby pinned pinned finish him do a mortal combat great <laughs> Great to see people ru removing rubbish from the streets. Anyways, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Click this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.